What is crack and all my beautiful apes? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tyler and in this video We're gonna be going over how JP Morgan Chase is confirming the AMC mother of all short squeezes by saying they are going through a lot of Defaults they are saying a lot of things that we are going to go over that have a lot of significance for AMC But also at the same time, I do want to acknowledge what is going on in China if you are unfamiliar They're going through a massive financial disaster and one of the biggest businesses in in China. And when you compare this to what happened in America during 2008 global financial crisis and what is happening in China and what the Chinese government is saying, we are quite possibly getting ready for another financial meltdown. I'm not telling you guys to telling this to you guys to scare you by any means necessary by the dip do what you guys got to do not a financial recommendation but you guys have to be made aware of this situation nevertheless so drop that like on the video consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so you guys will be notified when these videos are uploaded so let's get straight into this video and uh, what JP Morgan actually did say so says we are requesting that all agents complete partner registration training by Tuesday. We are experiencing an unusually high volume of 90 day defaults and are expecting a significant release of properties. Distribution of listing agreements will be coordinated between assigning firms and approving clients and will begin immediately. Application instruction will be provided tomorrow via online webinars at 8 a.m., 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. This week, agents will receive instructions for submitting documentation to Chase Bank and Chase Authorized Assets Management Providers, who will be assigning properties to vendor partners. Partner applications may be submitted immediately upon completion of tomorrow's training. This is no cost for agent attendance. Select one-time webinar. Uh, time zones will convert during registration registration and you can sign up to those right there once you have successfully completed registration click your email box that's not important uh, it does say agents in attendance will also be receiving information regarding hedge fund property distribution outside of the chase network this is a huge red flag why are they talking about uh, hedge fund property distribution outside of the chase network that doesn't make too much sense to them but as we do know jp morgan chase is one of the biggest banks uh, they are the biggest bank in the world so they do have a lot of clients that own a lot of properties that are potentially being defaulted in so this is not only a bad situation for jp morgan this is a bad situation for the hedge funds that are involved in this activity and they are basically Confirming the mother of all short squeeze. They're confirming everything that we have been talking about on this channel. They are confirming that the financial industry is going through a huge shit storm right now. And what is going on in China really just uh, shows you guys how significant this is. So let's talk about that right now and then compare what is going on in China with Evergrande and then what did happen in 2008. So Evergrande, which has 1.97 trillion wands or 305 billion in liabilities, has intensified in recent weeks as fears over its ability to repay investors trigger protests that are certain to rattle Beijing. And China has come out and said that they are not going to be bailing out Evergrande due to the fact they want to teach their businesses a valuable lesson, and that is to not over leverage themselves, which makes a lot of sense. But China is ultimately putting the global financial system at risk. If you guys are unfamiliar, China is the second largest economy. So what happens in China has a direct correlation to what happens in the global markets, but more importantly, our markets. Even American investors, hedge funds, they have stakes in Evergrande. Obviously not as significant as the people of China, but still a huge, huge problem. And when you are talking about $305 billion, that is a massive amount of money. If we compare that to what happened in 2008 with Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers. If you guys have seen the movie The Big Short, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but let's talk about the numbers behind that and what actually happened. So Lehman Brothers had $619 billion in debt and was the largest corporate bankruptcy filing in U.S. history. Following the bankruptcy filing, Barclays and Numera Holdings eventually acquired the bulk of Lehman's investment banking and trading operations so this was a massive loss to the global financial system and this is what ultimately kickstart the whole collapse that really just screwed everybody right it was due to over 
leveraging, a massive amount of over leveraging. But what is going on in China with Evergrande is $305 billion in debt. So about half of Lehman Brothers. And that is a very substantial amount of debt investors that will never be repaid. Potentially a lot of American investors as well. But what is important to know is that in 2008, the government did not bail out Lehman Brothers. They actually did bail out Bear Stearns. And Bear Stearns was a New York-based global investment bank and financial company that was founded in 1923. It collapsed during the 2008 financial crisis. Prior to the financial collapse, Bear Stearns was the fifth largest investment bank with $18 billion in assets. And just the reasoning why the Fed did not bail them out, it is because the firms rescued by the Fed had enough collateral for the loans they needed and Lehman Brothers did not. And that is why I do suspect China is not bailing out Evergrande as well as just trying to teach companies not a lesson to not go into too much debt. But this is all coming at a time where the American stock markets, really the global stock markets, are going through a very tough time. We have hit these all-time highs just this was on September 2nd. Ever since then, we have been selling off. You guys can see this major inflection level where we have been selling off pretty much every single day besides one day. Now we are getting to this 50-day moving average where we typically have bounced off of this since November of 2020. If we gap down under this blue line, you are likely to see a continued sell-off and you're really not going to see any real levels of support until about down here, which would be a further, you know, about a you know, 5% correction, give or take a little bit more than that. Once you get down to about $400 on the S&P, you're looking at a 10% correction. And there's a lot of other things going on. So if you guys are unfamiliar, just watch the last video that I just made. That will break everything down to you guys that you need to know. But ultimately, what is going to happen when the financial system does start to go down, when we get down to 10 to 25% down in the overall markets, that will bring down the portfolio value of people like Citadel with massive short positions on AMC and ultimately restrict their capital. They won't be able to just deposit more money into their AMC short positions to stay in their positions no matter what the price is. Citadel theoretically would never have to cover their shares. They could pay a 3% cost to borrow any day of the week besides covering on their short position. But when their portfolio value goes down, their margin maintenance levels go up. At the same time, I've said this many times, probably sound like a broken record, the smaller shorts, just like a staircase, the smaller shorts on the bottom will start to cover in until the big guys are ultimately forced to cover at, you know, when AMC is thousands of dollars per share. So that is in, in a, you know, a 10 minute video. What is going on with this situation? JP Morgan, they did confirm these defaults, confirm the short squeeze as well as the market turbulence, but also China is going through a shit show situation that will ultimately bleed over into our market. So I only think it's a matter of time before we do see the markets come down substantially. So just be ready for that. I'm not trying to fear monger anything or spread FUD, but these are only the facts. So drop that like on the video. Consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell if you guys want to be notified when these videos are uploaded. I do love and Appreciate every single one of you guys. Check out the links in the description if you want to support the channel by getting free stock with Public or Weeble, as well as if you guys want to grow your knowledge with trading overall and long-term investing. I send out all of my alerts in real time, as well as other people in that community. They source their trades too. We do it all. We day trade, swing trade, and make long-term investments with stock options in crypto. So if you guys want to be a part of that, very inexpensive. So anybody is able to join that. So that is all I do after this video. I We'll see you guys in the next one.